From the mysteries of space to the wonders of evolution, from man-made endeavors to the effortless power of nature, science and technology are all around us, forging a path towards progress and knowledge. Let us explore the questions from the past and the answers from the future. The more we know, the more powerful we become. This is Explorations. This time on Explorations, we take a look at the high-tech toys of the super-rich. How the wealthiest people in the world can afford to make their science fiction dreams reality. Hit the water in the world's most futuristic powerboat. 118 is unique. It's so different from any other boat around. Take a trip into space. I've been inspired by spaceflight as long as I can remember. As long as I've known that that was the frontier of the exploration of the universe, I've wanted to be part of that adventure. Or start your very own high-octane sport. A1 Grand Prix is the World Cup of Motorsport, Grand Prix of Nations. If as a kid you fantasized about taking to the open seas and you now have a fair few zeros at the end of your bank balance, you can make your childhood dreams come true. This is the Wally 118, and with it you too can cross the oceans, not only in style, but also at a blistering pace. That is, if you have a spare $30 million lying around. But why is it so expensive? Well, for a start, it is made entirely out of carbon fiber. The hull, the tables, even the toilet. This futuristic powerboat was designed by Italian boat builder Luca Bassani. The 118 is unique. It's so different from any other boat around in terms of shape, style, colors, glamour. And when you spend such amount of money, you want to be a bit unique. You don't want to be like the other ones. The 118 might look impressive, but that was a secondary consideration when it came to its design. We believe that aesthetics is very important, but for us, the aesthetic has to come out from really the, the, the functionality of the boat. One of the 118's most striking features is its vertical bow. What we wanted to achieve was a boat that could be very fast but very comfortable, also in very rough condition, we thought that the vertical bar was essential. Um, think about a knife that could cut much better a wave instead of slamming into the wave. It is powered by three gas turbines or jet engines that between them pump out 17,000 horsepower. These massive engines push the boat forward at speeds of up to 70 knots or 130 kilometers per hour. Jet engines need to suck in a vast amount of air to burn the fuel. It uses these massive intakes to funnel air into the engines. We needed to be sure to have all the, the right design of the aerodynamics of the boat. That's why we had to go into the wind tunnel of Ferrari. I think it was the first time that a, boat, a cruising boat of that size had been tested in a wind tunnel. But the 118 isn't just fast. Underneath its decks, the lucky billionaire owner can relax in style. But if the 36-meter version is a bit too modest, Wally are planning something a little bit more impressive. We are being solicited by different clients to apply the same style, the same approach, but on a bigger size, a bigger scale. So we're designing a 70 meters powerboat, like the Wally Power. 